Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at the new Select and Mask task space in Photoshop CC that makes creating selections and masks easier, more exact, and more efficient. So in order to save time, I actually have made a quick selection around this mountain goat. So underneath the Select menu, I will load up this selection. Click OK. You can see that I just made this with the lasso tool, and I selected all of the areas in the mountain goat that were 100% mountain goat, meaning that they weren't the transitional areas where there was some fur and some of the background. Because the more precise I can make the selection, the better off the Select and Mask new feature is going to work. All right, so with this selection, I can choose the Select menu and then choose Select and Mask. Or you'll notice that if I have a tool like the Lasso tool or Quick Select, in the Options bar, I can choose Select and Mask. In the Select and Mask task space, one of the new features here that I really like is under the View mode, and that's the ability to preview this as an onion skin, which gives me this transparency slider. If I move it to the left, you can see more of the background area or the area that is not selected. But if I move the transparency slider to the right, we see more of the checkerboard. So depending on the image that you're working with will depend on where you will feel comfortable moving the slider. And there are also sliders that have been added to the on black and on white options. So for example, if I wanted to preview this because I was going to put it on white, there's now an opacity slider where I can increase the opacity of the white to see what this would look like. All right, let's return back to the onion skin for now. And I'll leave the transparency where it's set. And then let's take a look at the tools that have been added to this task space. So not only do I have the Refine Edge tool, I also have the Quick Select, the Brush tool, as well as the Lasso tool. So in fact, I didn't have to create a selection before coming into the Select and Mask task space. I could actually come in here with the full layer and start my selection here, whatever is easier for you. The best part is, is that if you accidentally forget a little area, like say I wanted to add a little bit of the fur area, I could just select the lasso tool and then add to my selection, just clicking and dragging around the area that I want to add without having to leave this task space or dialog and then coming back into it. All right, I need to refine the edges here. So I'm going to use the Refine Edge brush. And before we do this, I'm going to tap the K key just so we can see that it is a hard edge selection right now. I'll tap O to go back into the onion skin. And then I'm going to click in this fur area here up around the top. And just to show you the kind of mask that we're creating, I'll tap that K key again. You can see it's this nice soft edge mask around the fur. Tap the O key for onion skin so that I can see where it is that I need to paint. And I will quickly move around the edges here in order to soften them and make sure that we've got all of the hair that we want included and none of the background. So this is just going to take one moment while I select all of this. Let's go ahead and make sure that we've got everything we need. If I want to change the size of the brush here in order to be a little bit more accurate, I can do so using the bracket keys. Left bracket is going to make it a little smaller, and the right bracket is going to make it a little larger. All right, let's say that we've got the selection that we're after. I just want to point out on the right-hand side, we have all of those other options that were previously in Refine Edge, including the edge detection option, the global refinements, as well as output settings. I'll go ahead and click OK in order to return to Photoshop. And actually, I forgot there was an Invert button there. I could have clicked on that to get the Inverse Selection, which is actually what I need. So instead, I'll just do it here. I'll use Command-Shift-I in order to invert my selection so that when I add my Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer and decrease the saturation, it actually decreases the saturation of the rocks behind the goat as opposed to desaturating the mountain goat itself. So there you go, a quick overview of the new Select and Mask task space in Photoshop CC. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.